Eighty-five years ago, in early 1924 to be exact, a set of construction plans were created by the Schultz Brothers, a design firm from Brantford, Ontario. Their plan called for this structure to be built two stories high and more than 37,000 square feet in size. Remarkably, for the time, the construction design incorporated steel girder fabrication, which allowed for a 164 by 229 feet interior space completely absent of obstructive support posts. Six months and more than $80,000 later, the building was complete and officially christened the Crystal Ballroom, in recognition of the ballroom location, the Crystal Beach Amusement Park. At the time, the Crystal Ballroom was the largest unobstructed dance area in North America and could capably accommodate up to 3,000 dancers at a time on its 20,000 square foot dance floor. The bandstand was a large wooden octagon shaped stage set right in the middle of the dance floor. And of course, high above it all revolved a large mirrored ball that sparkled down upon the couples who paid 10 cents a dance or a quarter for three to hip hop, jitterbug, jive, and slow dance on that sleek and shiny maple wooden floor. It was just amazing, you know, the, the reverberation throughout that hall and it just the people crammed up to the stages and, and just enjoying it. So there were more people that would be up against the stage than they were dancing. It was, it was that type of thing. At the time, big band music was the dance rage across America as well as in Canada, and the Crystal Ballroom was the perfect venue for the popular music form. As thousands of dancers packed into the hall each night, they were entertained by two bands, one Canadian and one American. And oh, what bands they were. The King of Swing, Artie Shaw, the Dorsey Brothers, Jimmy and Tommy, Gene Krupa, Glenn Miller, Guy Lombardo and his Royal Canadians, Les Brown and his band of renown, and Woody Herman and the Herd, the absolute best of the big band era. This crystal ballroom tradition continued for decades as musicians and dancers earmarked the amusement park dance hall as an entertainment mecca. There was just something about the combination of the lakeside setting and the cooling breezes that wafted across the dance floor on those moonlit summer nights that brought people back year after year. Yes, I remember it was one of the greatest ballrooms I ever played in, you understand? And uh, coming back here is just like returning home. I mean, give you new life and new spirits because it's such a wonderful place. Yet in the late 1950s, as the big band era began to wane, so too did the popularity of the Crystal Ballroom and the Crystal Beach Amusement Park as well. Ultimately, on Labor Day, 1989, the Crystal Beach Amusement Park and the Crystal Ballroom welcomed their final patrons. The park was closed, the fixtures and memorabilia auctioned off. And it was so sad, I, you know, I was crying along with other people. The big crane was in there just pulling the girders down and uh, that was a tearjerker, not a happy time. Fortunately today, there are a group of loyal Canadians and Americans who have come together under the banner of the Friends of Crystal Beach. Their purpose is to commemorate and salvage the traditions of the grand old amusement park. Many of these men and women danced in the Crystal Ballroom, enjoyed their first kiss on the ballroom balconies, met the love of their life on the ballroom floor. And that is why the Friends of Crystal Beach have initiated a summer concert series along the waterfront. Musical entertainment performed just yards away from the original site of the Crystal Ballroom. And each year, at summer's end, the final concert of the season features the ladies' first big band, a 16-piece all-female big band orchestra hailing from Buffalo. And as familiar strains of big band classics such as I Remember You and How Long Has This Been Going On drift along the shore and out across the lake, you can almost envision the crystal ballroom. The panels of wide open doors beguiling the soft summer lake breezes across the young dancers, swaying to music under sparkling mirrored reflections. Echoes of a magical time and place, memories of summer romance and young love, reflected 
in the memories of the Crystal Beach Bomb.